Good afternoon. I thought I'm going to make a fairly short video of what I found inside the Fabi chain tensioner. And the first thing, of course, what comes to mind is this seal where the front ball sits in. You can see it. This seal is hard as anything. So that means that this has been in the car for quite some time. The next item is the spring, and you can see the spring is no longer straight. It, is, it, has, a, it has a kink in it right here. And then the other thing is, I don't know if that is supposed to be that way or not, but on the Mercedes-Benz drawing, these are straight cut. They don't have a angled cut like this here. You can see this on both sides. That is that pin which sits inside the spring. And then the other thing is the discoloration of the tip, which pushes against the rail. You can see on how hard this was actually hit. Let me see if we can zoom in. Yeah, you can see the score marks and everything else. Um, there's also a indication in here. Let me see if we can get enough light in there. And you can see this, that the there's dirt on the inside, and that means that this plunger did no longer fully extend out. And that was basically the failure, uh, somewhere between these parts. And I would say that this probably has quite a few miles on it. You can see the ball here and the other ball here. They got three springs where this one is bent, and um, see, that no longer ran straight in there. Well, anyway, just to work for what it is worth, um, I would say this was probably replaced at the same time the timing chain was replaced. But unfortunately, Fabi does not add any dates on their parts. So it is very difficult to date this on when this was manufactured. I tried to scrape it off, but you can see from the dirt on here is that the unit itself has been uh, in the car for quite some time. So I would guess the spring is part of it and the failure started with the seal, that rubber o-ring in here, which no longer sealed the inside here to this exit hole where this bleed screw sits in with this pressure release system between these two springs. That's how it lost the oil pressure to retain oil pressure in here. And then the spring weakened out because it is bent, it is stressed. And that no longer pushed this all the way out against the rail. So hence this ping noise when you first started, then the oil pressure comes in and it pushes the rail suddenly out. And that would also coincide with these score marks we have on there. Uh, just food for thought. You have a great afternoon.